somebody please cue that void? Samurai fits a gas. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai fits a gas. Right on! They're stepping out crime and you know that ain't baloney. They're speedy ceviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right. A heck of a fighter makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. <laughs> Than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Stronger than dirt. Hey. Yeah. 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 Don't hurt me. <laughs> They're fighting crime all over town. Three, two, one. Pizza cats are on the run. The big cheese is the villain who's lower than low. It's a rotten yeah. shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> a sunny Saturday dawns on Little Tokyo, ending an unusually trouble-free 90-day warranty week. This was a botanical miracle since Lucille had planted an azalea. Oh, this fragrant tulip would look great sitting in the pizza cat's kitchen window. And it would do a swell job counteracting the smell of the onions and garlic, too. Where are they? I don't know. I'm getting tired of standing here. <gasps> Poor Sonny and Mom had continued their pizza cat vigil for six days and nights without even a glimpse of their beloved heroes. Maybe they should think about catching that Bruce Lee triple feature at the Little Tokyo Cineplex instead. I'll tell you why you haven't seen them. Speedy and Guido just got done with a marathon mahjong game, and now they're sleeping it off in their basement hideout. I bid three bam, big cheater. I got this game. You might as well give up. Rise and shine, well off and at them. From now on, you wash all the dishes, kiddo. Don't worry. I've got just the thing. Here's the bell starting from one. Hey, Mom, there's that loud gong again. Must be their alarm clock. Are they still sleeping? Oh. <laughs> Our Mahjong players are awake, Francine. They just don't know it. While Francine went to fetch the boys' vitamins, trouble was beginning to rear its ugly head at the enclave of Big Cheese and Company. Ah, that was a great birthday party we had for Big Cheese last night. Today it's back to work. Mm. Huh? Come on, rise and shine, banana bee. Uh -huh. It's seven o'clock, and it's the early bird that catches the world. Okay, okay. Why do you old fogies always get up at the crack of dawn? Big Cheese is up, too. Oh, yeah? Then let him catch the worm. I'm taking a day off. Just try and stop me. Easily done. Stop that. <laughs> Now, now, we'll have no fighting on this lovely morning. By the way, how do you fellas like my new outfit? Oh, uh -huh. I'll go change. Now, why did you get me up so early? Are you crazy? You ordered me to yesterday, Big Cheese. Hmm. So what's on the agenda? We must grind the samurai pizza cats to chop suey once and for all. Now, Seymour, pay attention, will you? I've prepared some visual aids. Yes, I'm listening. Raise it up. I've spent six days reviewing tapes of our robots' battles against those fur balls. We'll observe which of our robots' qualities were most effective against them. We can combine those qualities into one weapon. I hope these tapes don't show my robot creations to be failures. Some of my creations were real pips before the pizza cats ground them to oatmeal. Oh, don't worry. All right, I trust you. Let's start the show. Now, this is highly realistic, high-definition TV. Start the show. Wake up, baby! <laughs> Useless feather brain. I'll do it myself. Here goes. That's 
the pizza cats theme. Are you trying to make me nauseous, Jerry? I'll fast forward. These are bad birds, ace ninja crows. They try harder, but the pizza cat still beat the feathers out of them every episode. We are bad birds, ninja crows. We will pop you in the nose. If we can't eat those pizza cats, we'll throw a fit and eat our hats. That's a lovely little ditty. Boys, have you eaten a lot of hats lately? Yeah. I'll say you have. Now look here. Watch how Big Mama One Ton makes kitty stew out of them. The cat's flying force crushed your sagging bag of nuts and bolts easily. What a turkey. This is a tape, Cheese. It's already happened. Oh, no, it hasn't. Cheesy, I admit this high-definition TV makes it look like it's actually happening in your own living room, but I taped this battle two months ago and we lost. Don't tell me that. Ooh, I'm cold. Let's harness them up and attack. Pizza, but that ain't all. Samurai Pizza Cats. They're ready to fight. When you need them, just call. They know how to stop crime. Just do what they say. If you don't want a bad time, stay out of the way. <laughs> oh, I love those cats. Samurai Pizza Cats. The heroes who always wear fur. <laughs> <laughs> Power boost completed! What were you doing all this time, Big Cheese? As your fearless leader, I remain confident in Mama Wonton and totally unruffled. Look there, that rotten flying tiger's transforming. Do something, you idiot, do something! You call that unruffled? This particular mechanical monstrosity was the ingenious invention of the cat's friend and frequent emporium freeloader, Guru Lu. A formidable opponent, I must admit. How dare you compliment the enemy? Besides, I'm sure that half-wit Guru Lu stole the idea from us. Now we might look into modifying those cannons. That stupid spear sure looks fishy to me. On guard, Mama Wonton! Swing that sword, hold Mama it, Wonton! Hold it! Hang on! Head off. It's nah. happened two months Come ago, on. Big Cheese. It's hard. only Don't a tape. It's not that really that happening. Don't get excited! With more time to train our ninja crows, this wouldn't have happened. I need an antacid tablet. No, sweetheart, no! Go for the big lunch kneecaps! No! You betrayed me, you fat klutz! Please, Big Cheese, no! Thanks a lot, Mr. Cheese. That was so realistic. The Ninja Crows cleaned up the carriage and the conference resumed. Do you promise you'll have no more tantrums? No, I do not. I'm very emotional. I even cry when I see the Wizard of Oz. Then, mind if I take a seat by the door? Yes, I do. <clears throat> oh, want to bring that up again? Big cheese, now is not exactly the time for levity. Ah, I was just poking a little friendly fun at him. Well, it wasn't funny. Are you awake now? <clears throat> oh, yeah, sure. I spent the last few days attempting to recruit ninja crows from the local college. Get that camera out of here! Uh, how on earth did Princess Vi get on that tape? Any answer will do. Oh, don't ask, fellas. I only work here. Meanwhile, Lucille was paying a visit to Conehead's designer ammo shop to stock up on firepower for when she blows her step. Hi, Lucille. Say, what you got there? An azalea? <laughs> no, it's a tulip. Do you have some missiles to match the color? Sure, got just the thing. A traveling munition salesman just came in with these the other day. First, he said he was from some strange place I couldn't pronounce. I asked him, how come you got a Brooklyn accent? Then he fessed up and told me these babies were made right here in a little factory in New Jersey. I'll take them. Great. I knew you'd fall in love with them. There you. How many boxes you want? Well, give me two dozen and put it on my credit card. You got it. Take these and I'll deliver the rest. Thanks, Mr. Conehead. 
The Bad Guys Conference continues. Bad Bird claims the Princess Pi footage is important. Then show it to me. I promise I won't have another tantrum. Thanks. Now watch closely. Princess, what is a red cape is sprinkled with garlic and can fly? I don't know. Super pizza. That's a terrible joke. I was only trying to lighten things up. Send him to Mississippi. Lock him in the dungeon. We don't have a dungeon. We'll lock him in the basement. That joke stinks. I'm surrounded by total The girl has quite a temper. In fact, she's a maniac. We should convince her to work for us. Yes, glad you pointed that out to us, Bad Bird. Thank you. Let's continue with this. Ah, this is highly cinematic footage of our robots in action against the pizza cats. That's wonderful, but did you have to include this long, boring sequence that we have to endure in every episode? Don't you want to see how it looks on high-definition TV? No, I'm going to the kitchen for some chamomile tea. Call me when the good part starts. Uh, as long as you're up, can you get me a seltzer? No, get it yourself. A triple whammy! Yeah! Wow, now that's TV. Does high-definition TV always have such destructive special effects? Let's continue this fiasco. Here are some of our less successful endeavors. Oh, I remember this one. Some salesman with a Brooklyn accent came by and sold us that rocket. He claimed it was built in New Jersey. This robot had all the grace of a 12-ton swan. I'll give you that. But the problem here was those fruity fans you decided to attach to his arms. As you can see, they didn't quite do the job. Well, at least the rocket worked. Did we save the phone number of that salesman? You had us build this nightmare the day after that championship hockey goal. He had us over for coffee and Danish at his mobile home. You made him great at blocking big cheese, but the construction design was definitely cheesy. We're zeroing in on target. Hmm, at least we thought we were. You designed this yo-yo last spring. You had us build this guy after you took that three-hour sauna. He couldn't take the heat either. I'm the king of the forest. You gotta get rid of that Tarzan fixation, Big Cheese. Here I come, ready or not. Yay! Your Sherman tank concept ran into a brick wall. And this big dummy never got off the ground. Aha, uh -huh, my samurai stomper. You have to admit that he did some damage. Yes, but he also had his pitfalls. You can say that again, but enough of these mechanized morons. <laughs> Here is the result of my little college recruitment venture. Who are they? Our new secret weapons, the four freshmen of the Apocrolips. Rude noise! Oh, really? Bad Bird tells us you guys need some muscle. Ruffians. They look raw, but at least they have a college education. Well then, if it's muscle power you need, we got it, babe. Here's a little demonstration of what we learned in school. Meet my fellow crow and roommate at Little Tokyo U. He's fast as white lightning and blinds opponents with red light. His name is... Rojo Rojo! 
My next buddy majored in physics and is aiming for a career in intercontinental ballistic missiles. His name is Cannonball Baddeley. My third pal majored in dentistry, but also led the swimming team to first place three years in a row. His name is Ronnie Geismuller. Our fearless leader led the cheerleading squad in tomahawk twirling and excelled behind the wheel of any gas-powered vehicle. Call me Bad Max. We want a three-year contract. How much are you paying? All right, I can give them room and board and three fifty an hour. That's not enough. Don't be cheap, Big Cheese. Offer them more. These guys are hot. Uh-uh. What's with you? That fruitcake still believes his robots can beat the pizza cats. What a jerk. Are you gonna meet our price? No way. No! Huh? Get lost. <laughs> cheap. The four birds immediately enrolled in graduate school. Meanwhile... Come, little tulip, let's visit the pizza cats. Cherry! I just know I could come up with a robot that'll work. Big cheese, as you can see from the tape, those robots were all duds. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. It was just bad luck. You got an idea? Yes. We'll simply combine all the robots into one gargantuan conglomerate. Huh. You could have something there. They may have failed individually, but together. Wasn't that my idea? You're sort of the co-star. You're just too kind, Cheesy. Hmm. I like the idea. We'll get to work on it right away. Even my own ninja groups don't support me. Cheese will have them build some big clunker that'll fall flat in its face. Through the magic of animation, it's finished already. It's magnificent, your cheesiness. Its sheer size will overwhelm little Tokyo, though we could have left off that idiotic fan on his left arm. Don't say that, Jerry. It gives him color. Don't all you crows agree? Yeah! What a maroon. <laughs> pizza cats, oh pizza cats, where are you? Why don't you let me drive for a change? Doesn't matter who drives you, old bat. This venture's doomed to failure. The only true power is ninja crow power. Cheese's new monster plodded through the now deserted streets. Deserted except for the innocent Lucille, who was so intent on presenting a tulip to the pizza cats, she failed to even notice the approaching behemoth until it was upon her. Ah! Oh! Oh! What happened? Oh no, it's that crazy geisha girl. Oh, you made me drop it, my tulip is gone forever. Ah! Big explosion! But say, isn't that pretty? I think I'll get the number of that salesman from New Jersey. <laughs> Beaten by a missile launching geisha girl. Ooh. Get back here, you buckeye buzzard! Stop this instant! Why are you running away? Your air raid signal sounding! Oh yeah? What air raid signal? I feel better. Those missiles from New Jersey are really something. Lots of firepower. <laughs> Lucille sashayed merrily on home, probably to plant another azalea. She was innocent of the knowledge that she, of all people, had dashed yet another fiendish Big Cheese plot to conquer the samurai pizza cats and destroy Little Tokyo. Next day, life was once again serene in Little Tokyo, and the Pizza Emporium was packed. Be patient, folks. Some of our staff have overslept again today. <laughs> oh. ah, these two idiots stayed up again last night. I think you fellas better give up, Mahjong. Meanwhile, an angry and frustrated bird bird finally extricated himself from the previous day's carnage. Being buried under two tons of worthless junk has only made me stronger. I'll convince Cheese the only way to conquer is with Ninja Crow power. Yeah. I'll go back to Little Tokyo U and recruit the four freshmen of the apocalypse, even if I have to pay them out of my own pocket. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath. The Pizza Cats are Samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call a retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down, we land upon our feet. 
So hail to thee, O oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cat! Hope you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Some right, it's a guess. But if you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. 